Hello there Petroonies and this week only YouTuberonies because uh, I've decided to make this particular video for the week available on YouTube as well so you guys out there in YouTube land can see what we do every single week here on Patreon when we pull cards for the week, set the tone, set the intention. Uh, we use different cards every week, one tarot, one oracle to set the week in motion and we have for the week beginning the 27th of February from the Spacious Darrow, the Six of Swords and one of the cards from the Avalonian Oracle. I've called it Solitude, it doesn't technically have a name. It's very limited on information in that uh, it's a mini deck. But we're going to pull uh, from what I think is happening, um, things like that, what what my interpretation of the particular card is. Um, there's some interesting crossover here between the two cards. The, the rays of light in particular are very interesting to me. And the colour scheme, um, we have some similarities in colour scheme as well, particularly within her robe and the overall colour of the Six of Swords. So last week was a tarot, tarot tower week, um, and it's probably the culmination of many different factors for many different people. I did feel like it was a long term ending that the, whatever it had been had been going on for a little while. And it was kind of drifting around in in the culmination of that. So with regards to this week, we have a week which is all about recovery. It's all about rest. It's all about reconnection, particularly to the spiritual realms. You may have been feeling quite disconnected, discombobulated. You may be feeling like you can't concentrate, you can't focus, you can't meditate, you can't connect. Everything may have been feeling very entangled in a way which felt very unpleasant or just very cold and quiet like you couldn't quite hear um the messages that you needed to from the spiritual realm when you were meditating or or lots of frustration getting in the way possibly so the six of swords is real and recovery the six of swords holds you in the space between what was and what will be and this is from the spacious tarot the card appears when the worst of the storm is over but you're still reeling in the aftermath Affirm that healing is happening and be patient as the clouds take time to fully clear. So before we go on, on to the next bit, let's just dive into that energy a little bit. Um, there is no storm in either of the cards. The, the light has come back. The, the clouds have parted, um, but the heaviness has sort of peaked and now it is the breath beyond that. There is a lot of light and air and breath in both of these cards, almost like a wind pushing through um, to part the cards. So you may sort of feel that you are becoming a little bit more mentally clear this week, at least. Um, or at least you have a sense of, you know what you need to do in order to heal this week. You Things sort of start to line up a little bit better. Um, mentally, um, you're feeling a little bit less blocked, although you're still quite closed off. Um, as I said on the blog accompanying this on Patreon, the problem will come if you burn out because you keep trying to give too much of your energy to other people. You keep uh, refusing to reinforce your boundaries just by saying no or refusing to engage with something. If something is really causing you mental distress in some way, you need to form a very strong boundary with that. The Six of Swords, they're all cl close together on the card. They form a, a tight-knit unit and that to me suggests um, only go to the places that really nourish you and keep your close-knit unit close. <laughs> Uh, that you may feel tender, you may be lacking in mental or spiritual energy. Be with the situation, be with the reality of it, but attuned to the rays of hope already appearing around you. They are indicators of bright things to come. Recover is a process and you're already on that trajectory. And here we have like those rays of hope and those rays of hope come in the six of swords downward beams of sunbeams through the clouds. And in the uh, solitude card, <clears throat> they are coming from the cup within. And so 
it's sort of like that chalice energy the solitude card simply says welcome to solitude it is time to replenish your weary weary soul sorry um but there's a whole lot more going on in it than the card suggests from the from the writing anyway she is kneeling in in sort of a open reverent hopeful pose with her head lifted up to the sky um i would say it's probably dawn here as you can sort of see the sun just peeking up um behind the hill there and the, you can still see the moon but the color palette suggests that the sun is rising and it's rising right above her head which is lovely gives her that kind of glow of hope a halo a kind of mental clarity and her whole aura is actually glowing in a very subtle beautiful um <clears throat> interplay of light in this card uh, she has the triskel on her hand and she's holding up the cup which is also full of light and also full of stars and it has that as within so so without um parallel within the card so as she lifts um the cup and she lifts her hopes and spirits she lifts her energy um it's all about rise and again i rise my angelo um so there is this kind of feeling of sunrise and hopefulness and returning to a sense of hope and joy um, after some particularly difficult energies. And I definitely feel perkier this week already. So hopefully that energy is going to continue into the week um, for us all and give us something to <laughs> worthwhile to look at, really. Um, so... I said about the uh, re the solitude card, there was a, a sense of replenishment, reconnection, especially to your spiritual self, taking pleasure in the simple moments in the quiet and meditation. It's really not a week for being overwhelmed in sensory overload. It's not a week for surrounding yourself by loud noises if you're not in a place where you can handle it and you can avoid doing that. Um, too much noise, too much interaction is not advised in the energy between these two cards there's this gentleness this restfulness this recovery so as we move next week into a new cycle on patreon we're going to be looking at willow next cycle we're going to be doing all about healing and rest and recovery so it kind of is interesting that this energy has began just before we begin <clears throat> so it's inviting in a sense of cleansing, um, maybe small rituals of cleansing and grounding, doing the small things to make sure that you are hydrated, make sure you are eating well, make sure your body feels good, make sure you're resting, make sure you're getting enough sleep, things like that. But the kind of rest and recovery energy here has a big spiritual implication. Um, it Many of us may have been feeling quite disconnected, <clears throat> overloaded by stress. Um, there may have been quite a lot of shadows coming up when it comes to uh, interactions with other people. And this can have left us feeling a little bit spiritually bereft. Um, it may have been a time of nightmares recently um, of feeling quite disconnected and, and in all sorts of ways and, and being quite uncertain um, of where to go from here with regards to your spiritual path. There may have been some conflicts within you about the spiritual circles in which you have found yourself in or the progress in spirituality in general of the path that you walk in things like that and it has maybe left you feeling quite disheartened by what you've been seeing um not hopeless completely but kind of sapping away at your hopeful demeanor when it looks like nothing is changing in particular groups perhaps um and so these two energies are very much about bringing yourself into rest and recovery and realignment um it may have been difficult for you to meditate lately you may have been feeling very very stressed um and if you have been having tower moments and it's probably a long-term tower moment like shadows coming up um that really reinforce the, the places in which you have struggled in the past you may have even had like examples like really in your face examples of a pattern trying to repeat itself before the 
week has begun and you've just been like, why is this coming? I don't want this in my life anymore. And by reaffirming, you don't want that in your life anymore, whatever it might be, uh, then you have made a statement to yourself, to your auric body, to the universe, to everyone and everything, listening, spirit, family, etc., that you do not want a repeat of things from the past which make you feel drained, spiritually drained. Um, you do not want unwelcome advances. You do not want boundaries being overstepped. You do not want to feel used by people, whatever it might be. But it really is the big draining things, the things that really upset you from the past and you've struggled with for probably a number of years at this point. It may even be quite a long-term um, overcoming of shadow. I've got like six or seven years in my head, probably because of the six of swords, but I've, maybe seven years. Maybe it's that kind of seven-year cycle thing. And it really is taking the time to refuse to allow it to disturb your peace. And there is this kind of feeling of gently tending your inner sacred grove uh, this week, uh, replenishing. And it is very softly, softly, gently, gently. All the things that make you feel good and you do not have to justify why these things make you feel good. And to be honest, I don't even think you should be necessarily having much of a conversation with other people when it comes to your decisions and to what makes you feel healed and healthy in any particular given moment. Um, so if you really do need a kind of rest and re relaxation, even a retreat from the outside world, um, that might be the time to do it is right now because the burnout is not going to be good um, if you ignore it. Um, your body will take matters into its own hands, literally, um, <laughs> and make you ill and force you to rest. If you've been on Patreon with me, you know this can happen. We've talked about it a few times um, as part of the process, the magical process of embodiment. And as we're coming up to a healing cycle with Willow and the Oem of, of Sail, we're going to be looking at all of the ways that things flow into us um, and that be water, breath, but also the spiritual ecosystem and how that flows into us. The lady kneeling, she's very Daenerys looking actually, um, has a Triskel, as I said, upon her hand and she kind of is opening her hands up to the processes of the universe. Her face is receptive, her body's receptive, she is allowing herself um, to feel into what she needs to. And her and the swords are actually parallel because they are in the same sort of position within the card, just off, off center, um, and they're in the earth and reaching up to the sky. So again, as above, so below. So there is a need to kind of like ground, but keep your head held high. Um, keep looking for the positives. It's going to be simple acts of magic this week because too much is going to overwhelm. So gratitude every day, grounding every day, blessing your water every day, uh, allowing simple moments of things to make you feel good, writing something that made you feel joyous, once a day, every day for a week um, in your journals and, and allowing that to feed future manifestations. The more you can keep in harmony with the small, simple moments of rest and recovery and happiness and the, the joy that they bring, the more you're going to feel in tune with your own rhythm. And there really is like a feeling within these cards of needing to get back into your rhythm rather than having to constantly tap dance to everybody else's um, and, and sort of plonk yourself into the earth like this these cards both have this sense of i will not be moved i will not i will not be moved do, 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 do. um but it's not forceful it's just kind of how it is it's just no i am in sanctuary i am in safety i am in recovery i am in rest i will not be forced into a flurry of motion which is going to be for my detriment and will cause me ill health right now so there really is this kind of holding space for yourself vibration uh, between the two cards um, and a relaxation that comes from doing that little treats for yourself this week um, nothing that's going to uh, break the bank obviously or anything like that but little moments of joy are very much recommended this week and 
the healing journey begins and remember to look for hope in places that you know that you will find it um, I say often and it's one of my um, one of my probably infamous quotes on Patreon at this point, that we have to apply hope like a good daily skin cream. We have to lather it up, put it on our skin and be proactive about being hopeful sometimes because if the more that we engage in the process, the more that we will find hope staring back at us in the mirror. Okay, my darlings, that's it for this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek on youtube that we do this every single week and you can be on just the five dollar tier and get this and loads more information every single week and we're going to be doing manifestation boards this week as well so if you want to come join in you can absolutely do so i would love to see you over there many blessings and i'll talk to you soon